Ah, there we are. Last is working and I am live. Right, well, while I uh, wait for people to turn up, I am going to uh, start the game, I think. Let me just adjust OBS and such like a little bit. So it's in a slightly more convenient place. And right, I'm going to start a new game. Uh, I suppose for the YouTube VOD later, this is Death Trap Dungeon, an adaptation of a fighting fantasy game book of the same name. It is not like that book, not at all. Uh, don't mind the size of the image at the moment, by the way. That's just for menus. It will go up to, I think I had it set to 124 by 768. So, uh, we have a set of levels. We can't access most of them yet. Um, and we have Lotus. two characters to choose from. Red Lotus. Chain dog. Red Lotus. Chain dog. Neither of whom are great, but uh, Chain Dog's basically a meat slab, and Red Lotus has this sort of meat twirl when she uh, when she climbs up on things. So Red Lotus. I'm going to go for her. Welcome to the dungeon. Take this chance to practice your skills before venturing into the depths of the earth. Orc troopers and evil imps defend the fortified entrance to the dungeon proper. You must defeat these fanatic guards and capture the chamber that houses the great engine. Beware of the two-wheeled knackerers. They are bound by powerful magic. You cannot harm them in any way. Press space. And here we are. And uh, immediately we're going to see the first, perhaps deadliest, and most pernicious trap of the dungeon tank controls. Alright, so take a moment to uh, just get the hang of this. I did look up at, look up the controls uh, previously and uh, I have played this before so I'm not entirely afloat. Uh, now let's see, I think, yeah, that's my attack button. That's my jump. Oops. No, she didn't do the tour. Maybe that's only for bigger jumps or something like that. Or maybe I'm remembering something else entirely. Okay, so... Attacks, right. And let's run, and this is warp. Good. And... Third room, and... Yeah, there we go. We're already... on the death traps. Ah. Now, I know the split, and we don't have anyone in chat yet, so I'm just going to steam through these relatively boring bits. Spell... Yeah. Uh, wait, no, this button. There we go. And that's an imp. Uh, no, I think I used enter for use. Yeah. Ah, so awful. And a health potion, apparently. I to resume that spawned in behind me. And this does what? Oh, hey. Just spotted a ledge up there. Nice. Oh, kittens. That's me looking at chat. Okay. This way. This way. Looking at chat that doesn't actually have anyone in it either. Oops. Uh, maybe I can't jump that high. Oops. Okay, so I can't get there. So let's try the portal. Oh. Uh, which one? This to attack. No, I won't look. Hum, 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 and what do we get? Oh, trouble. Oh, another razor spell. Nice, nice. I think we get our spells through F1. No, that's weapons. F2 is potions, I think. Right, and chalk. F3 is spells, and F4 is, uh... Oh no, F2 is ranged weapons, right, and chalk. F4 is spells, right, 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 right. Uh, yes, this way. Whew, this is going to take some getting used to. 
is one of those knackerers. Oh, hey, hey, oh, hey. Ah, I ran into that. Hi. No, kittens. Which way? Which way? Not, not that. Ah, tank controls. Ah. ah, kittens. Ah, all right, okay, straightforward. I do have a healing potion that I could use, but I'm not going to use it just yet. Does this not? No, apparently not. I think I might have to go through there. Aha! Hey, thank you for the follow, Cho. Nice to see you. Uh, what did I just pick up? You distracted me. Why did you distract me? Ah, warding charm. And, uh, uh, yeah, I don't know what else. Cho! Hi! Welcome to me struggling with tank controls! Does this hey the wood lift works now? Okay, great. Okay. If, yeah, I I know you can. All right. Okay. Right. I don't remember what happens here. This I'm not playing this entirely blind. Oh, hey, save point. I want that. Yeah, it's that sort of game. Uh, I'm not playing this entirely blind. I've actually completed this game before, and uh, I think this is a secret door. If I can get in, no, it's not here. The swan was there, uh, and I did watch someone play some of the early stuff, a little, uh, um, not long ago. Oh yeah, no, I'm going to be flailing a lot, trust me. Uh, I've already been flailing a lot. Okay. Oh, some imps. Now you get to see how combat works, or, you know, kind of doesn't. Okay, that, that, was, that was easy enough. These guys are the, the easiest enemies. The imps. And just wait till we're on dragons and... Knights, and ah, t this way, this, you, you see what's happening with the tank controls. Okay, so, which way now? No. Okay, I think we go up here. No. There we go. Oh, there, hey, she did a flip. That's the reason I chose her, because she does a flip. There's a decent turning circle at least. Now, I remember, I think I remember, oh yeah, hold on. Before we actually, oh no, 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 not off the edge, thank you. I think, yes, this is a secret door. <laughs> oh wait, I heard that. Come on. But there's another one. There's another one. Come. Oh no, 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 not that. There we go. Ugh. Tank controls. I. Why does this have tank controls? Why? Okay. I'll tell you why. It's to vex me. That's why this game has tank controls. And this is. Oh, it is a secret door. Ooh. And apparently a lift, judging by the camera angle. But it doesn't do anything. Oh wait, no. There we go. It's just finicky. And I picked up... What did I pick up? Oh, kittens, I just used a, a health potion. Oh, well, I could use... I did want for it anyway. Uh, what did I... Oh, I picked up bombs. Nice. Okay, and I have some spells. Oh, yes. It knows. It knows that I'm here. And... Oh, not that way. We want that key, and believe it or not, this is a lift. I don't know how you would know that if you didn't think to go into first-person mode. I just happen to have watched someone else play this recently. Know that 
this is, ah, there we go, apparently a lift. And got me the red key. Hmm. Uh, can I go through this thing at all? No, not off the edge, please, young lady. Oh, I can. Good, it's not locked. Health potions, always good. Uh, potions are... Oh, were those... Wait, where did those... Duck? Could have sworn those were supposed to go into my number one slot there, but maybe they were instant effect and I just didn't notice. Anyway, time for a flying leap. Good enough, a flying leap. Uh, come on, there we go. Elevators are a little bit finicky. This is one of those games like Doom that goes for the color-coded keys thing. Now, I don't know why, there's nothing like that in the original game book. Uh, save. Uh, yes, in fact, you missed the introduction to this. This is based on an old game book from my, my favorite series of game books, uh, the Fighting Fantasy series. It is almost nothing like the book, except for the plot, which you've missed now because you didn't see the intro. And which doesn't actually have any bearing on this game at all, really. Uh, hello? Is there, oh, hey. There's more this way. Oh, I remember this bit from uh, the playthrough that I saw. Okay. How do I open these doors? Hey, oh, yeah, hey. Hi. Orcs. To quote in Seric the Longsword, Orcs! There's always Orcs! Haha! -ha. Didn't see that coming. Of potion. Oh, kittens, I didn't see that coming! Uh, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, this way, this way, right. Uh, yeah, hi. Excuse me, while I concentrate on not being killed by orcs. Hello? Yep, there's more. Ooh, ow. Why are they being so rude? Well, they're orcs. They're not really noted for their manners. In all fairness. No, no, kittens, no. Ugh, okay. Uh... Potion. Okay, now I'm going to want to go in there for the key. I wonder whether I can go through these. I can, but there is no reason to do so because it just teleports me out. Okay, lesson learned. I will take the key. I will flip the switch. And I will exeunt. Which I presume turned off the... Yep. Now, hold on. I know, th I know this game. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not walk off that. The only problem is I think there's a little bit of delay on this jump. So, uh, all right. Here goes nothing. Okay, jump key space. Come on, come on. Oh, she actually started screaming there. What do we get? Right. This is why it's called Death Trap Dungeon. Uh, no, we're not starting from the beginning. Restore, get... No. Oh, right, right, right. This thing uh, differentiates between load and restore. Yep. Get used to death traps. That is... Yeah, it is like that. And half the time it won't tell you about them beforehand. <laughs> This is very much a game of get killed, learn what killed you, and uh, don't get killed the next time. Hi. Come on, where's that? Oh, come on, Masher. Oh, that Masher was just too late. It almost killed the orc for me. Where, 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 where? Where? Hello? Orcs? Orcs? 
orcs. Where are the orcs? Uh, guys? Oh, kittens. That was close. Uh, hmm. I seem to have run out of orcs and that hasn't... Oh, it, hey, hey there. There we go. That's him done. Who's next? Oh, there we go. It's being to picked up again. Oh, there's another orc. Ah. Right, now we can go get the key. Open this. Uh, avoid being squished. Now, I'm tempted to go down and save. But... Hello, the beer. <laughs> uh, a remake of this... I'd rather see a remake of... Well, not a remake. I'd rather see a new adaptation of the original game book. Uh, okay, hold on while I make this jump. Come on. Sure. Now, I don't know whether you were here to see what happened last time, but we are not opening this thing from this side. We're opening it from this side and getting out of the way to be on the safe side. Haha! -ha! Yep, that's right. We just picked up pigs. Is that thing coming back? No, it is not. I will say, it, this game does at least show you stuff that is going to kill you. If you think to look, it's there. Oh, hey, portal. Nice. Uh, right, so let me just see what I've picked up from that. Uh, okay, no new weapons. Okay, I have bombs. I have a couple of spells, including war pigs, which is good to know. And some health. Don't need health. Don't need wards. Uh, I'm going to want the spells... I, wonder whether, I don't remember whether the spells carry through between levels. Because so I wouldn't mind them on the second level. There's some stuff there that could use being spelled to death. Wait, hold on. I left a, sa a point back there. I want to save. Yes. Save. That poor guy. That poor guy who's being beheaded over and over and over and over again. Anyway, moving on. Come on, there we go. This could have been... Oh. Alright, fine, I'll take it. This could have been a good game, an adaptation of Death Trap Dungeon. I mean, it's the sort of design that really lends itself yeah, I thought so. It really lends itself to being made into a video game. Unfortunately, they didn't didn't do a very good job of it, I fear. No. Ah, thankfully, I saw what to do here. Come on, recently. Ah. Now, I'm not sure to what extent this is a set sequence or... Well, I mean, I think it's a set sequence, but... To what extent this is a matter of just operating all the levers, or whether you have to operate them in some specific order. I think it's a specific order, and I think I just did it by mistake. Did I? Is that everything? But I, I do remember that I want to come on, get onto this thing quickly because. Okay, there's the key, and something nasty is going to be coming for me very soon. Where is it? And what am I going to use against it? Uh, I have one light. I have three razor spells. What is my spell button? Hold on. Sorry, I just want to check my key binds. Uh, car spell. X okay. Back to the game. Thank you, Cho. I appreciate that. Not dying would be preferable. Okay. X for to cast. Where are you? I saw Ross of Accursed Farms playing this bit. There it is. Ah, got you. Ha! Nasty little things, those. 
Nah. Ah, did you hear that? Did you hear that? Do you hear that? Because that is more of the little nightmares on some on the other side of this uh, this wall. Oops! Now I managed to turn right around. Got you. Okay, one more of the little nightmares. Just the one. Still, if I hadn't known that was coming, that would have been nasty. Don't worry, if we go long enough, we will get to stuff that I am not familiar with anymore. I think that's the end of this level. Yep. End of the spire. 23 of 25 pickups, one se of one secrets, and uh, 20 of 20 kills. <clears throat> Welcome to the circus, with this labyrinthine chamber, cha let me try that again, with this labyrinthine chambers and four huge pit arenas, this is a home to nightmares, creatures that slither and those that bound, monstrosities from a forgotten age and those long dead, amongst the spectacles that lie ahead are snake girls, evil jesters and monsters of almost every description, not quite, I can describe a fair few monsters than that. Beware also the dismembered feet and hands of a dead giant. His massive boots are animated by dark sorcery and are utterly indestructible. His gigantic hand is almost as invulnerable. Fear them! The Pritarinas hold a huge cast of all your foes. The greatest of this catalogue of horrors guards the only escape. Enjoy. Right. And we are back. We have a snake lady there, and a snake lady there, and some stuff there. And if I recall correctly, one of these levers lets out the snake ladies, and one of them opens that, allowing me to get into the, to the save point and to a sword that would help a lot in dealing with the snake ladies. Uh, yes, that's a clown. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'll give you a proper look at him. Oh, not this way. Look, happy clown. See, happy. I'm sure he's nice. And uh, we have, oops, this encouraging piece of art. I'm sure we'd like to see that in all <laughs> in all our circuses. And uh, whoops, snake lady. But that's not interesting. This is this is what we want to see. Uh, all right, so I have a feeling it's this one that doesn't let the snake ladies out. Yes, good, good. New sword, which we equip by going to F1 and hitting six. Is it six? Yes. There we go. New sword. It's limited use, unfortunately, and I don't see a way of telling how much use there is, but but we absolutely want it against these two. Okay, and then we want to switch back to our normal sword because we don't want to run out. Nothing of interest in here. Oh, in here, just checking and then... Alright, let's go get the actual stuff. So what do we get? Fireballs, health, health, fireballs, good. We're going to be wanting that stuff later, I do believe. So, uh, right, heading out and saving again. I am going to save at pretty much every opportunity. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. Happy T-Rex! That is actually kind of cute. It's going to be less cute later. Uh, is there something I've been... Jesters! Hey! Jesters! I'm trying to remember whether there's a good reason to go through there. Uh... Uh, do I want to? I'm going to go through here anyway. I just saved. Oh. Oh. 
They're a little stronger than imps, but not by much. Oh, yeah, there's no good reason to go through here. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's see if I can through the window. Oh, whoa. So, yeah, there's a drop over there. There's... I don't think you can... Yeah, you can just about see right at the bottom there, there's a little potion. Um, and if we go through there, we're going to get killed. Let me show you. Uh, there we go. Hi. That is... I don't know if you can really see it. You'll see in a moment. Okay, so we come through here. There is a long drop and there is an imp with the boot. In fact, two imps with boots. Can we get out of here now? No, we cannot. We are going to... These guys are invulnerable and doing a lot of damage. These are the, the giant boots that were mentioned earlier. So, yep, we just got kicked and stomped to death. And it's for this reason that we have saves. Right, so, not through there. We're going to follow the Happy T-Rex. Uh, now, interesting thing about this game is that it kind of rewards looking around at times. Yep, it's a lot like Mario's Boot, except it's not on your side. Uh, I think it's over here. I kept spotting this when watching Ross playing it. There's this guy here, and if as you run past, you see there's a little platform here. I don't know. Oh, hey, there's a switch. Aha! Okay, so I think I know what to do now. Uh, now I just have to remember which way I came from. Because here's a fun fact. I have a terrible sense of direction. I get turned, away, turned around in straight line shopping centers. Uh, malls for any Americans in the audience. Is this? No, this is not the way that I came. This is not the way that I came. Uh, this way? This way feels right. Yes, this is it. Right. Okay, so we kill these guys. Uh, got you. Alright, uh, we look out of the window quickly. I uh, don't know whether we can actually see... No, but a, a light came on there, and I think that means that if we go down here, they get released as per usual, and then we step off ah, into a portal. Ha 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 ha! And we found a secret. Nice. Uh, so yeah, so this game kind of rewards Stopping and taking a look around every so often. I kind of like that, actually. This game is is full of jankiness. It's really full of jankiness. Oh, hey, hi. Uh, um, look, I know you heard me saying bad things about your game. But it's true. Which way? Oh, hi. Right. Uh, it's full of jankiness. But it does actually have a couple of nice points. I trust this about as far as I... Oh, right, I remember. I remember this bit. Hold on. Hi, guys! Okay. Whew, okay. Trust me, those guys are a lot tougher if you, uh... This, is, this doesn't do anything, no. A lot tougher if you're using the basic sword. Um, I think... I, okay, I need the silver key for that, never mind. Okay, so noted, that's where the silver key goes. Oh, hi! Also, tank controls, and I'm pretty sure there's no Z targeting or anything fancy like that. You have to manage your direction all by yourself in combat. Unless I've missed the control, in which case, you know, there is, and I don't know about it. Uh, so what is this? Oh, it's more of them. That's what it is. Look at them grinning happily. 
Oh, Cho. Just for you. Just, just for you. Oh, this way. Just for you. Right. That done. Was you know what a friend's for, really. <laughs> oh dear, that will never cease to be amusing, I think. Oh, I dare, Cho, I dare. Hi. It's an ambush. Not a very effectual ambush, but an ambush nonetheless. Hey, die. There we go. Okay. So, I'm wondering whether I should take a potion. I have five. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, that's better. Ah, uh, right. Oh, wow, I have quite a few spells now. I have a light spell in the first slot there, I believe that is. And I have a spell that damages undead in the second slot. And my fireball, and my razors, and my lightning, and my war pigs. Because, of course, war pigs. Oh, hey, guys. Uh, hmm. Right. Guys, I don't want to pick up that sword because I don't want to waste my charges of this one. Uh, wait, no, this way. This I keep forgetting which one is the attack button. Come on. Right. I heard something spawn in there. Where did that spawn in? I'm pretty sure that's going to open, by the way. And this too. Probably when I take that sword. Hi! Okay. So what did that achieve? Why did I open this door? It's not a lift. Oh hey, this opened. Oh, and that gave me a save point. Nice. Oh, and there you can see my sword disappeared. So, time to go get my new sword. Right. And we will... We will save before we operate the, the switch. Right. Come on. Uh, I would like to press the button. Do I have to be facing it? Apparently I do. Yeah, wasn't expecting that. Uh, more snake girls? Yes, more snake girls. Put Venom sword out. Ah, stop! No, kittens. Oh, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. I did say it was bad, in all fairness. And this is why we save. Right, let's try that again. Preferably less with, with less of the getting killed by snake girls. Oh wait, right. Uh, I want to operate the switch. There we go. Whoa, that was quite a maneuver that I pulled off there. Much more like it. I got seriously hit there though. Uh, There we go, that's more like it. Good, good. Um, back to basic sword. Uh, oh, hey! I didn't see that there. I wonder what that did. Huh. Mysterious switch that didn't seem to do anything. this open? No. Uh, yeah, it is. That uh, The textures uh, respond to... Yep, that's not suspect at all. The textures respond to damage you take, and in fact there's different damage textures for being burnt uh, um, as uh, compared to being, uh, being slashed and such like. So...
no comment, but there's the silver key. Uh, I don't think there's any switches here. Uh, hi. Oh, I think I was supposed to operate something on the other side. This could be a problem. Uh, because I think the traps activate when you go back through this in the other direction. No? That's weird. Because I know for a fact there are traps there. Hmm. Maybe because I didn't pull this switch, or maybe because I did pull this sort of semi-hidden switch, they didn't activate. But I know that on the left there, um, as we're facing them now, the floor can fall out, and on the right, um, there are fire throws, and I think one of them has uh, some darts as well. All right, well, I am not going to complain. Save time. And, uh... Now, if I recall correctly, the silver door was out this way. So what? Oh, hey, nice. We get an extra. We get a new save point. And uh, one of these directions had the silver door. Uh, but it wasn't this one. No, come on. I want to get. There we go. Through the through through the doors. There we go. Uh, all right, in which case I think this way will take me there. Yeah, well, it's open for me. That must be a good sign, right? Okay, yeah, this is the way. This is the way. Yeah, no, not that. That wasn't the way. That was into the wall. Okay. Down we go. Now, I don't remember exactly where any of this goes. Uh, right. Let's try further down first. I'm not quite sure what the story is with these red ones. I have a feeling you have to activate them in some way. So maybe we should go stick with up first then. Maybe that uh, indicates that we're not ready to go down there just yet. What's around here? Another ramp. This is definitely getting a bit lab labyrinthine. And we don't have a map of any sort. This portcullis is locked. Okay. Certain irony to the word labyrinthine in that a labyrinth is technically not quite the same as a maze, but in fact a maze-like structure that doesn't have any branches and thus which one cannot get lost in. Ah, you thought you'd catch me off guard, you lot. Ha! Ah, nice try. I heard that. Don't know where I heard. Aha! Uh. Uh. To be quite frank, this game is pretty much, that's not sus at all, the game. Hey, I've got treasure. I now have one treasure. I am rich. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Two treasure. I have literally doubled the amount of money that I own. Oh, hey, he's not dead. And a health potion. Right. More money. I'm sure taking money from in front of demonic... Uh, at uh, murals is is a good idea. That's that's definitely something that we should be doing. I heard that. She does some quite nice pirouettes. This woman. Oh yes, uh, I should show you Cho. Actually, um, when I get to the next save point. I want to show you the intro, the well, not the intro, the uh, the character selection, so you can see who I was choosing between, because I didn't have to play this lady with uh, you know her excellent armor. Uh, 
I could have chosen someone else. So, we have a floating scroll, but we have an unk of vitality over a long, long pit. Now normally if we were to jump in, uh, jump into that we would die. And there's no portal in this one I can tell you. But the Anchor Vitality gives us 100 health, which allows us to survive. Fun fact, my first full playthrough of this game, if I recall correctly, I collected so many Unks of Vitality on the final level, just before the final boss, that I was able to pretty much trivialize the entire fight. Um, or at least the the vertical parts of it. Now, where was that door? Oh dear. Now I actually have to find my way. This is where things go terribly, terribly wrong. Uh, was it down here? Was it down here? It was. Good. Hello? Hello? Um, do I have to use the key somehow? No. Hold on, let me try. Oh, right. Now, this is I, this is where I just came out of. Now, right, that, that is how bad my, uh, my sense of direction is. Okay, so what have I actually achieved? Not a lot, I don't think. All right, so I suppose we're coming down here. I don't think that actually amounted to much, that whole section. Hmm. Yeah, well. Am I that cruel? Nah, not quite that cruel this time. Hold on. These look suspicious. Secret door? Secret... No, no secret doors. I am disappointed, Death Trap Dungeon designers. Wait, hold on. No. No, not a lift. Okay. You can't really tell with this game. Have to check. Okay, nope. This is promising. Uh, now, I think this is more or less where I ended... Um, viewing Ross's playthrough, so I'm sort of, not blind as such here, but I'm running only on, hi, I hear that, on vague memories, um, my own playthroughs. Aha! What is this? Oh, antidotes. Okay, so there's going to be poison soon. Good to know. Uh, funnily enough, this game has the poisonous enemies be particularly vulnerable to poison. Ah, hmm. Yeah, I did see Ross take this on, and this gave him some trouble, as I recall. Oops, please excuse that uh, alert that just popped up. Uh, ooh, that texture warping, that's not nice. Uh, I want to be able to save before I go anywhere near that thing. Um, what's this way? Ah. Okay, we're getting close to 10, so I'm going to run... Oh, hey, hi. Excuse you, I was talking. I was talking. Thank you. Really? Very rude gestures. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to run and basically until the next save point that I see. Um, oh, hey, you're still alive. Go away. Really? Uh, uh, no, wait, that's not the... Not the attack button. I don't know why I thought that was the attack button. For some reason, I thought the sprint button was the attack button. Because now that it's about time for me to stop, it's not going to give me a 
save point for the next hour, is it? Come on, no, no, th this, this way. Oh yeah, no, I did see this in Ross's playthrough actually. Hey. Okay. So if we go down here, where does it activate? Run, 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 run. Get out of the way of that thing. Now this is tricky. I want to time it so that he gets trapped in there. I don't know whether I can operate that thing in first person mode, but we'll find out. I can, but I didn't have the right time, so let's try that again. Yes, yeah, so we want to activate it just before the Nakara turns up or gets in there. Here we go. Ha ha! Got you. Uh, if I recall correctly, Ross sort of cheesed past that. But uh, yeah, I don't know what that switch just did, but presumably it did a thing. Well, I may hope it did a good thing. Those are flamethrower nozzles, I think. Right, I would like to go through this door, please. I don't like the looks of that wall. But on the other hand, there might be a save point behind it. Oh, oh, spells. Spells and health potions. I will take that. Uh... Huh. I think... Oh, oh, hey, what's this? More health. It's giving me a suspiciously large amount of health. And this is looking like a uh, circus entrance, isn't it? Ah, save point. Uh, here we go. No, there we go. All right. I'm going to stop here for now, save for one thing. I want to show you what, I, what you missed out when we actually start a game. So, you know, we can select a level and we select our character, which does this. Red Lotus. Chain Dog. Red Lotus. Those are our characters, Chain Dog and Red Lotus. Or rather, Chain Dog. Red Lotus. Uh, right, unfortunately we can't show the intro from this screen. Uh, so, yeah. I'm going to call it there, I think, then, at the, leaving it at the main menu until next time. Uh, next stream is intended for next Saturday at the same time, or possibly sometime during the week if I'm feeling so inclined. Uh, so keep an eye on Twitter and on Twitch, um, and hopefully I will post an update on that. And yeah, thank you very much for coming. Uh, it's most appreciated. And yeah, it's been fun. Uh, Fun live streaming to you guys. Yeah, in fact, let me sign off with uh, stay well and uh, yeah, thank you for viewing. And goodbye for now.